Hey everyone, it's day 22 of Advent and time for another peek at our Advent calendar. Let's get right to it. Looking for 22. And well, this one's a little trick. Oh, I found it. Okay, it's down on the bottom, um, kind of in the middle, right on that first lamb there. A little bit hard to see. But let's uh, check out the scripture for today. Oh, and now we are going back to the Psalms, where it says, Shout joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Worship the Lord with cries of gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Psalm 100, 1 and 2. Well, I guess everyone has a favorite Christmas tradition. Most children would probably vote for the presents, and maybe a few adults would too. Others really go crazy with decorating their house. I was one of those who judged the Christmas lights contest for our little town this year, and there are some people who put on an amazing display. I'm sure you've seen a house or two like that. But for some people, they are all about the Christmas carols. I mean, there are radio stations that start playing Christmas music around the clock in November, and they only do that because there are people out there who will listen to it. Well, as this psalm makes clear, an important part of worshiping the Lord is to come before him with joyful song. Have you ever thought about why that is? Why is it so important to the Lord that we sing to him? And of course, it's not just at Christmas time. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. You see the same idea echoed again in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 19. And I think this is why singing is such an important part of every worship service. It's part of the teaching ministry of the church. Music has a power to, to stir our passions and also help us remember what we've learned. The biggest problem with music, any kind of music, so Christmas carols are no exception, is that we can very quickly start making it about us. People have very strong feelings about their music preferences. There are some who think that only the old hymns should be sung in worship, and they get downright irate whenever a newer praise chorus is sung. They may even object to a familiar hymn sung to a contemporary arrangement. Conversely, there are those who only want to sing new songs, and they turn up their nose at the old ones. But I think both of these perspectives are wrong, and sadly they tend to focus on the wrong thing. What we pay attention to is the, the melody, the accompaniment, sometimes even the instruments that are used. But this completely misses the whole point of why we sing. Our singing is supposed to be to the Lord. It's not for us. It's not about how it makes us feel. It's an act of worship. This means that what's really important when we sing is, first and foremost, the attitude of our hearts. And secondly, I think also the words that we sing because we want to sing truth to the Lord. The melody and the instruments are secondary, maybe even incidental. Now I get that some styles of music might feel more worshipful to a person than others, but that's an issue of our heart, not an issue with the song. And there are some songs that we might love the melody, but the content of the song, the lyrics, contains a bad or confusing message. We can apply this to all worship music, but for now, let's just think of it in terms of Christmas carols. What is your favorite Christmas song, and why? Have you ever taken time to really study and think about the words you're singing? Many Christmas carols have lyrics that are inaccurate from a biblical standpoint, and some of these inaccuracies are minor and not worth getting upset about, such as Three Kings from the East and Angels Singing Gloria in Excelsis Deo. But why not take some time to really pay attention to the words you're singing this Christmas and maybe even learn a new song, whether that's a recent composition or an old song that's unfamiliar to you. You might learn something that will help you worship the Lord through your singing. And that's as it should be. Thanks for listening. God bless you and Merry Christmas.